Hi everyone, it's me, Megan, and this is Jesse. Hi! Uh, Megan, what are you drinking? I am drinking a smoothie. Mmm. Ooh, can I have some? I really don't think you would like this smoothie, Jesse. Oh, come on, Megan, please, 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 please. I don't know, Jesse. It has spinach in it. I'm sure I will like it. Please, Megan, please. Okay, here you go. Yeah. Ugh, that is terrible. I tried to warn you, Jesse. I should have listened to you. Yep, just like the Israelites in today's Bible story should have listened. The Israelites decided they wanted a king like the nations around them, but God was their king. They didn't need a human king to rule over them, but they didn't listen. Let's find out what happened. Samuel was a judge in Israel for many years. As a judge, Samuel's job was to make important decisions and lead God's people. Samuel was getting old, so he chose his sons to be judges. But Samuel's sons were not good judges. Some of the leaders in Israel told Samuel, You are a good judge, but your sons are not like you. We don't want them to lead us. The people around us have a king. We want a king too. Samuel did not know what to say, so he prayed to God. God said, Samuel, do not feel bad. They are not saying they do not want you as their leader. They are saying they do not want me. Give the people a king, but warn them what an earthly king can do. Samuel warned the Israelites that they would have to do whatever the king wanted. A king could make their sons serve in the army. He could make their daughters work for him, or he could take away their fields and servants. Still, the Israelites did not care. Give us a king, they said. So God told Samuel to give the people what they wanted. Then Samuel told the leaders of Israel to go back to their cities and wait for a king. Later, a man named Saul came to Samuel. Saul was tall and handsome. He was looking for his father's missing donkeys. Samuel invited Saul to have dinner with him. He told Saul that his family would be important to everyone in Israel. Saul didn't understand. He wasn't from a big family. His tribe, the tribe of Benjamin, was the smallest tribe in Israel. Still, Samuel gave Saul the best spot at his dinner table. The next morning, Samuel poured oil on Saul's head. You will be king, Samuel said. Samuel gave Saul some instructions and sent him home. The Spirit of God was with Saul. The Israelites did not trust God. They wanted a king. God gave the Israelites a king but he had a plan to send his son Jesus to be king over the whole world. Jesus would be the perfect king. Jesus would bring peace and save people from sin. 